Okay, I'm back again with a quick solar update. This time to my 12 volt emergency lighting. Right now you're looking at one of the older setups. This is a 12 volt fluorescent camping lantern. The one before this is a setup that most of you guys probably have. It's a 120 volt CFL running through a power inverter. Provided very good light, right around 900 lumens, which is enough to fill this room up. But it drew right around 3 amps worth of power, which is way too much for emergency lighting, especially considering you know when the power goes out around here it's usually during bad weather so if I don't have the solar to recharge the battery using that much power is just unacceptable so I went with this as my second setup uh, draws only about a half an amp worth of power which is acceptable for my batteries but it doesn't have very good light output at all as you guys can see if I pan out it gets pretty dark it's only really bright around the lantern and that's because that lantern was designed for something like a tent. It wasn't really designed for a room, uh, really just to light up a small tent. So I got rid of this setup about a week ago, and I replaced it with new LED bulbs. And you can see one of them right here. I actually have two of them. These are 3 watt, 244 milliamp LED bulbs. They have a standard E27 base, so you can convert any AC lamp fixture to work off of DC with these bulbs. They have 60 bright pure white LEDs in them with a color temperature right around 4500 Kelvin. The uh, fluorescent tubes back there are right around 6500 Kelvin so they're a little bit bluish looking. Uh, but these are actually pretty nice bulbs. I was skeptical before buying them because all of the reviews I saw on YouTube uh, would have the bulbs pointing directly at the camera. You couldn't really gauge the light output and I thought considering these are LEDs they weren't going to be as bright as a fluorescent light but turns out these at 244 milliamps put out around 400 lumens worth of light output which is going to be better than most camping lanterns on the market that one is pretty powerful it provides, provides about 250 lumens worth of light output but just doesn't spread very far so let me just compare the two lights you can see right off the back the LED is a lot brighter and you can see it's also a little bit warmer in temperature uh, you can see the bluish sort of fluorescent tubes back there compared with the pure white of the LED bulbs and I like that a lot better they're much easier on the eyes especially if you're going to be reading something uh, considering it's an emergency I wouldn't want to run the TV all night I'll probably catch up on some reading or something like that but um you can see the light output and the light temperature is a lot better on the LED bulbs, which is exactly the opposite of what, I've, of what I thought. Uh, I thought that you know the LED bulbs were going to be bluish like some of my uh, flashlights, but turns out those are pure daylight white. So uh, let me just show you exactly what the LED does by itself. Again, only 244 milliamps, so you can use a pretty small battery with that thing. You can see, I can see a lot more. If I need to look in the closet, I can get some tools. I can uh, see my solar system, check the voltage at night easily, work at my desk, read something. You know, it provides a pretty good amount of light for the power consumption. And uh, I actually bought two of them. Here's the second one. Again, I converted a standard 100, 120 volt lamp to run off of this. Uh, this was a halogen. MR16 bulb in here before I just drilled it out and sort of soldered the uh, the bulb to there. I might get a fixture later to fit in there. And this one's pretty nice because I went ahead and put a uh, standard cigarette lighter plug on it so I can hook that up to a power pack and have it working in another room. But uh, going back to the power consumption, I can run this one bulb off of the small battery pack which is only 5.6 amp hours is two 2.8 amp hour batteries running in parallel for about five hours which is pretty good and these aren't even in the best of shape uh, these batteries are from 2007 they have maybe about 120 130 cycles on them so they're not brand new they're not fresh but they still run this bulb for a pretty long time uh, for emergency backup, I have a 7 amp hour, which is brand new. I just got this battery today. Zero cycles on it. It's just been fully charged. And this uh, battery from 2009, it's only got about five cycles on it. And this is a 3.4 amp hour, 
which is about equal to these older batteries back there. So I'll get about five hours with the smaller battery, maybe about seven or eight with the seven amp hour, which is pretty good. And uh, again, let me just do a light comparison to show you the difference between the uh, LED setup and the fluorescent setup. And uh, one thing about the fluorescent setup also is it takes about three seconds to fully warm up the LEDs or instant on. So you can see a lot dimmer compared with the LEDs. And uh, both LEDs only draw about six watts combined and that draws about five watts, but I get a lot more light. I get 800 lumens with the LEDs versus 250 with this. And um, pretty nice bulbs. If you guys wanna get some of the bulbs, they're on eBay right now. They're around $11 with shipping. That's what I paid for them. Uh, so I got two of the bulbs and they're pretty darn nice. Uh, and they have a life expectancy of I believe around 50,000 hours versus 10 or 20,000 hours with the uh, with the fluorescent tubes back there and those will actually age and get less efficient. The LEDs will stay efficient uh, as long as the bulbs are alive. So hope you guys enjoyed this update. Check back later for more videos. Should have a couple more solar updates. I'm upgrading my deep cycle battery there from uh, 70 watts of solar to 100 watts and then also have my little battery drawer for emergencies that I've been working on. So Check back for those videos later. See you guys later.